Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's topic is how to add CAPTCHA in Codeigniter. So for that I'll be using CAPTCHA helper that is by default in Codeigniter. So let's get started with today's video. So I have created this video with a register form. I am having name, email, password field and after that I am having CAPTCHA field. There I'm going to show you image of the capture and after that there is enter capture text where you are going to enter the capture text. So let me show you code. So I have created one home controller and in that index I have loaded my index file and in my index file I have given title capture in code igniter. After that I have created one form. So you can see name, email, password and CAPTCHA is there. After that there is enter CAPTCHA text. And last some scripts are included. So that's the only view I have created by now. So let's work on CAPTCHA now. So let me show you CAPTCHA helper. So close application and in system folder open helpers folder. And in that second one you can see there is CAPTCHA helper. And there are functions create captcha that I'll be using for creating captcha. So let me show you documentation of helper, captcha helper as well. So firstly, you can see there are three loading the helper using captcha helper. The first one is to include this helper. So let's go and do that. In my index, I'm just loading this helper. After that, it's giving some functions configurations for the capture so you can see first one is word then there is path of the image url font path height so all these we will be going through so firstly what i need to do is i need to create a folder to store my images for capture so click on CI CAPTCHA and create new folder and give CAPTCHA images name. After that, pass the same path to image path. And also in image URL, pass base URL with CAPTCHA images. So next is font path. So in system, inside fonts, you can see there is same file. So let's just before that print cap and exit and let's see what it's giving us as a result. That image is going to be stored in image path. Uh, we'll at CAPTCHA remove CAPTCHA because I have just created CAPTCHA images. There is no CAPTCHA folder. So now let's go and refresh. So now you can see we are getting the result random word, time, image and file name. Now let's go and send this in view remove exit and take this cap image in a variable let's say image and pass this image in our view change it to capture image and in view page just echo this capture image and let's go and check in browser so in browser you can see image is coming with random word. So just give a break in between label and image. So now let's go and refresh. Oh, it's coming down now. So let's check in folder as well. So in capture images there are three images uploaded. And word you can see that it's taking random word that is displaying in my image. So let's go and just write anything. And just refresh this now you can see it's changed so let's go and hide this word and let's see in browser so now random word is coming so that's what we want so every time you will refresh you will get a new text so in folder I have deleted previous images and new three images is updated with random text so our captcha is generated till here so what next we need to do is we need to check our captcha and enter captcha text that both are same or not 
so now for that we will be submitting the form write method post after that action pass base url after that home slash register submit so let's go and create this function in home controller so write public function register submit so now in this function fetch this captcha write this input post and pass same captcha in that take that in a variable print that so now we need to get the text that is present in image so copy this cap image and change that to word also change captcha word now set this in a session set user data and pass this captcha word in that you can pass this captcha word in input type hidden as well if you want i'm just setting it in a session and that i'll be getting here in my register submit so this session user data same name that is capture word and print give a break in between and print both so now let's go and check in browser so now submit so you can see session one data is coming so refresh again and let's check so if i'll submit you can see same session one that we have in image is coming here so now let's just in my form make this captcha required field and now let's go back and check in browser so now refresh now you can see this field is required so write something and submit now both data is coming here so now let's go and perform check operation so we will be checking both captcha if both are same or not change variable to capture answer so write if condition f capture double equals to capture answer then return or redirect to home page and also set flash data this session flash data with error div class alert alert danger capture is matched in else condition pass capture doesn't match and class success and class danger so save and let's go to browser write anything in capture text after entering you can see it's redirected to home page and it's not displaying error so let's go and display that if pass this session flash data error is not blank then print this session form data error so now let's go and check in browser write anything submit now you can see capture does not match error is printed so just write same that is given in capture text then check for it so it's displaying captcha is matched so in this video i have shown you how to add captcha in coding writer using captcha helper so i hope this video is helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt please comment down below thank you so much for watching